All right, good time zone to you all, and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Remastered in expert mode. And, um, well, I thought there was a zombie in the background then, but it wasn't. <clears throat> Just to let you know, I've been on the uh, Discord uh, chat looking at this creosote problem, and it does look like it is a bug, and there does seem to be a fix in the nbt data you can edit it to change the creosote oil I haven't got around to doing that yet I haven't even got around to looking at that yet but I will be looking at some point in the future so hopefully it's not going to um, grind us to a halt so to speak but anyway today we will be looking at oh actually before that I'll just fill you in on a couple of things um, I have been around collecting some villagers because I've got a feeling that emeralds are going to be a thing soon. Uh, we've got, I think we've got two wheat traders and a librarian or something. Um, destroyed a couple of their libraries and grabbed us a load of books because I want to be getting into um, copying enchantments and stuff and starting to make ourselves as strong as we can because I think the wither boss is going to be in our future. So we'll have to make a cleaver as well, see if we can get some um, wither, skull, uh, wither skeleton skulls so we can make up our wither boss. Just check the soul sand. Yeah, probably going to need to grab some more soul sand. But that's not what today is about. Today is going to be looking at Psy. Psy. Or whatever you want to call it. So, we now have the spellbinding cloth, he says. It's string, isn't it? Mana string, which is on my person. So it's four of those with an mana pearl, which was probably outside in the... This is still going, by the way. This is now absolutely ran full with 2,729 biomass, 7,500 seeds, probably have to get some upgrades in there soon, just so we can get the farm going back again. But we will go ahead and make our spellbinding cloth. We need a block of iron, which is no problem. Compressed stick, I think I saw, which we have. What else did we need? Propolis and a mana blaster. We don't have the mana blaster, so that's going to be next. There's our propolis. And the mana blaster is a mana diamond, a rune of mana, TNT. And this is why I made the runic tablet. So, because of the problems we have with the creosote oil, I don't think we are able to make living wood at the moment because of the treated wood planks. So let's go and take a look, see how much we've got. Oh, actually, we've got plenty in there, so scratch that. We're not going to need to get to roots just yet, I don't believe. Excellent news. So the mana blaster is a pulse mana spreader. So we need sunny quartz, glowing glass, and a block of gold. I haven't got any sunny quartz, but I believe that's just a quartz in front of the laser. So that's not a problem. Let's get mana blaster on here. That's it there, um, back into here, and a glowing glass, thickened glass, have we got any glass shards left? Not quite enough. That's easy to fix. So we'll put one of those in the middle of the shards. And what do we do with that? Thickened glass in front of the laser, wrapped in glowstone. So let's go down to the laser. Like so. That's one. That should be the sunny quartz, if I remember correctly. 
which I have. Excellent. I'm not going mad just yet. Back to crafting. So we should be able to do that. Now that's weird. Why isn't that auto filled? Because I haven't wrapped that in glowstone yet. There we go. Ooh. That's that. That should be that. And then that needs a redstone with it. That seems like a daft little recipe for no reason. TNT. Aha, red quartz. What's this? We should be able to do that. Can we do that? We can. There's our TNT. Have we got a mana diamond? Have they been made yet? Not yet, but that should be easy enough. How are we doing on this cobblestone? Four quintuple. It's still going. Probably put some speed upgrades in there very shortly, but we don't need to worry about it too much. Let's go and get ourselves the mana diamond. And then it's going to be the rune of mana. That's going to be the one that... Um, slows everything down. Let's make sure we've got everything for it. So they're the bits to make the mana blaster. TNT we've got, living wood we've got, pulse mana spreader we've got, and then the CAD assembly we've got everything other than the mana blaster. So that's all we need to work on is the rune... Whoop of mana. One, two, three, four, five. Five mana steel and a mana pearl. <laughs> Let's just make sure I'm right in thinking this is steel in the altar. It is. I think there was a mana pearl over at the Getting a bit excited on the escape button then. I think there's a mana pearl over here. There it is, so we can drop that in and then we should be able to just keep those on. Yeah, here comes the rune of mana, so we're gonna want to leave a living wood. Not a, a living wood, a living rock. And we're going to want our wand as well. Where's our wand? That's probably in the chest over there. I hope it is, otherwise we'll have to make another one of those. How are you getting on? That's done. So we now right-click the rock on. Just right-click with the wand. And that gives us the room of mana. That then should allow us to make the mana spreader. Excellent. So there we've got our five items for one, two, three, four, five. Yet yeah, for the iron cad assembly, we're going to want another living rock to complete that. And I will grab some more coal just to boost the uh, mana pool up some. We're running really low on coal, so I've got a feeling that there's going to be a mining adventure in my future. Well, that doesn't look like it's going to take too much. Can't actually see that going down, so that might get away with that. Maybe there. Looks like that mana spreader is keeping up just. Put the living rock on. And we have... Our laser gun. So. If we put it in the CAD assembler, 
it turns into a casting assistant device with little to no stats on it. But before we do that, we need to make sure that's what we do. Side dust is the first item you make in the Psy casting assistant device, which we've just made by tossing one or more redstone on the ground and then right clicking it with the CAD. You'll need eight or more Psy dust to progress. If you do not have a Psy card, you can get a CAD assembler from the Rock Howden chapters, which we didn't do. To make a CAD, you'll require a fair amount of time in Britannia, which we've just done. So we're going to want eight redstone. We're going to want to do that. Do we just do that? We do. And there's our side dust. You got one level point. Unacrip your card and press C to use it. And then this is all brand new to me. So I'm going to be going through this, I believe. What's this down here? Trick debug. Shift more info. For testing, print out the target. Select a caster. Select the person. Learn. Aha, okay, so that's going to do that for us. Let's check our rewards if there are any. A little bit of redstone. So, corrupted essence is made by combi combining several kinds of dusts. Refer to JEF recipe. You'll need to make eight corrupted essence dust to progress, so plan accordingly. Corrupted. We need eight of these. So we need eight recipes worth, so eight emeralds, eight side dust, sixteen diamonds, obsidian and ash. We should have everything available for that. Uh, obsidian dust, yeah, we've got plenty of that. That can go away. Um, diamonds, yeah, we are getting low. Big time low. Emeralds, alright for now. I'm going to want some more of that obsidian dust, I think. So it's something along Just making sure we've got everything before I start smashing everything up. I think that's right, isn't it? Emeralds, Psy uh, Diamonds, Psy, Emeralds, Obsidian, Ash and Ash. Okay, let's go and crush all of our beautiful gems. Seems a shame. Where's our crusher? that work? No. Where is our crusher? Is it upstairs? Am I being silly down here? Crusher. That's going to take a while. Can we put our diamonds anywhere else? Um, suppose we could go upstairs to the Immersive machines. Show over this side. In you go. <laughs> Looks like a zombie's fallen in there at some point. Silly little zombie. This is taking a while. So, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. What is next? That's going to open us into the sacrificial dagger. Vile dust. It's made by small vanilla soul sand. That's easy enough. We can go do that straight away. Back 
down to our crusher, grab our emeralds, and also, I believe, like that used to make soul glass, didn't it? Yeah, it's been changed. Excellent. And there's our emeralds. There's the last of that. That's going to give us our soul sand back, so that's fine. We also wanted to make the corrupted essence. Put all that away. That should be that one. Pick one reward, that's cheeky. Um, actually, diamonds are going to be more useful for us. So, we are getting now to the point where we really need to start on this blood altar. And that's my quest book I've just put away. How far did we get along the blood altar? So, we need the demonic will, which we do have. So it's this shadow gem. So we are going to have to go. Nine of you. So 81 shadow fragments. But we've already got five. So we only need four. So we need 36. But we've got three. So we need 33. Let's have a look at what this says. Because that's this one, isn't it? Shadow gem. Shadow gem shards, shadow fragments, and even shadow gems drop from shadow creatures, shadow monsters, and shadow beasts in Darklands biomes in the overworld. These shadow creatures appear at night and underground. And are relatively rare. It's recommended you capture their soul, sample their DNA, or otherwise have a mechanism where you can respawn or recreate more so you can farm them for shadow fragments, shards, and gems. Right, so what we will do is we will go and find, that's a that big biome, we'll go over here, we'll see if we can find some of these shadows, and then we may make a mob spawner up in the sky for them. Maybe, he says, thinking. I'll meet you over at the, um, the biome, and we'll see if we can find our first shadow. Alright folks, back in a second. Alright folks, we're back and we are in the Darklands Forest and I think what we're going to do is go right up in the air see if we can reduce as much mob spawning as possible and build ourselves a little spawner up here. So, let's have a little think. If we do a little walkway One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This will be the area for the mobs to spawn in. You probably have to put some torches down, don't want to get caught out while we're here. There's the good old F7. Let's have a little think. So we want a little walkway, a couple around. So this here will be the spawning platform. Hmm, I want to be able to walk under that. So what I'd like to do is that, and then I should Yeah, now we can walk round and hopefully when we fit it all in this will be dark. So let us expand this out a little bit. It doesn't have to be crazy big. Angel block back. Who thought I was going to lose that then for a second? Hmm. 
Oops. I can place blocks, I promise you. So, how many did we go across? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. 2 for the walkway, 1 for the walking around the base platform, 1 for walking on the other side, 2 for the walkway. Let's get these lit up before we get caught out. And there's night vision. Sorry about that. Forgot that I didn't have that on. Spawning platform. Walking around underneath. And then we'll go out to on this side. And hopefully, got this right. We can always expand this later actually if uh, we find that it's going to work, but for right now this is just an experiment, see if we can actually spawn these mobs in around here. Just gone a little quiet while I'm concentrating, I'm aware. So we're gonna want to put our slabs around here. Like so. That's gonna give us somewhere we can walk around. Form. How much have we left at the side? One and then the gap. I think we've messed that up somehow, but we'll worry about that later. Let's just get this going. caught out up here but they shouldn't be spawning with me being here normal rob mob spawning rules apply so the idea is this will all be slabs along here so this now needs to be slabs down here whoa I knew that was gonna happen at some point thank goodness for flight Now then, I think we're going to have to make it three tall, if I'm right. Let's get rid of that torch and put a block there. So that's one, two, three, and then we'll just cap it off. Like so, and then we're going to want to come... So, Just 
tidy that up. This is just a, a normal um, sky block mob farm that I normally do. Um, put that in there and then we're going to need to get inside. We're also going to want a way to get down to those slabs so let's do that. Hopefully we're not going to get any creepers up here that will blow it up. And the slabs on top are just to stop things spawning. I hope this works because this would be a great way of getting these shadow fragments until we can get ourselves a... Probably a disturbed spawner, but that's going to need a drop of evil. Tidy that up. A little sugar coffee. Excuse me. Right then, let's fill the gaps in. Done. Not there. All there. Cheeky. And I really hope I brought enough cobblestone. And it doesn't look like I have. So what I'll do, folks, I will finish off this mob spawner and then I'll bring you guys back in. Hopefully when we're spawning some mobs. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. We'll see if we can get this finished off. All right, see you in a second. All right, folks, we are back, and the mob spawner is complete. And if you look at the mini map, we currently have uh, a little zombie and a creeper friend over there. Um, I've built just a little platform to camp, basically, to far enough away to let the mobs spawn. But it's night time, so let's go down. See if we can't find some of these shadow things floating around. Ooh, get that off. Right. <laughs> so, what's this guy gonna drop? A death school. A variant of rotten flesh? What else is around? So I think it's only the shadows that they're, we're looking for. Here's one of those weird dark stone brick monuments. Don't, there's nothing under them, so I don't really know what they're for. I'll just leave it for now. I'm not seeing anything. There's one. A little skeleton being annoying. So we've got four shadow fragments off that one shadow. So we are in the right place. That's good. So I guess my future for the time being is just to run round or fly round. See if I can't gather up a load of these shadow fragments. I'm guessing these guys don't drop them. Just the sh here's another shadow. A good timing. A shadow beast. Got a lot of hit point and does a lot of damage. Let's get out of here while I heal up. Okay, that should be enough. He's dropped a whole shadow gem, that's good news. stay away from him. So is that what we needed is the question. I believe, yeah it is, Shadow Gem, excellent, we've got it. 
that didn't take too long so down here yeah there we go we've done it we can now get our blood altar so i think what i'll do i think this video has gone on long enough i will camp out here a little bit more see if i can't get some more of the um shadow fragments etc and next episode i guess we'll be getting into blood magic so thanks for watching folks hope you enjoyed it hope you've learned something i've got an arrow up my bottom on my foot that's lucky um, yeah, we'll see you next time for some blood magic. All right, bye-bye.